Hi everyone. September 3rd, 2018. Invasive Aedes. I think that's the correct pronunciation of this mosquito that's spreading across Southern California. Yes, the Department of Vector Control in, in California is getting an awful lot of calls, inundated with calls. What's going on? All of these mosquitoes, officials say a couple of invasive types of mosquito known as ankle biters are spreading quickly throughout Southern California, Aedes aegypti mosquitoes. They're responsible for itchy, painful bites across greater Los Angeles. These mosquitoes originally found in tropical and subtropical zones, but now they're in Southern California. They're spreading like wildfire. Wow. And wow, those wildfires in California sure do spread really fast. So this uh, vector control department or district, they're getting phone calls. The phones are exploding. Okay. Uh, in reading this article, you know, it really is very, very interesting. We're told California's dry. Those dry conditions, dry conditions in California, creating all of those wildfires. So dry with your drought. Dry conditions, dry conditions in Southern and Northern California. We heard it over and over and over again. Well, mosquitoes they don't explode in dry conditions, right? Okay. What do they say about those dry conditions? Well, apparently, this new invasive mosquito, is it a new invasive? No. Apparently, California has had problems since 2011, then it erupted again in 2013. Um, but now, you have another explosion. Okay. The Aedes lay a few eggs here, a few eggs there, because they don't know which one of these little sources is going to dry up. So they don't want to put their eggs in one basket. Wow, man, these mosquitoes are really smart. That's right. So the Aedes will attach their eggs to a dry surface of a container which means they can survive even if the water gets dumped out. The next time the container fills with water, the eggs will hatch, and that could even be five years later. Wow! How cool, huh? This clearly is a new type of mosquito. Were they watching this mosquito for five years, and that's how they know that it can hatch five years later? Oh, those experts, they know so much. Well, this is why it's making controlling the Aedes mosquito very difficult. Our field agents used to just drudge, trudge through people's backyards and walk right to that swimming pool, right up to that hot tub, and they would find what they're looking for. But now, well, this mosquito, it can lay eggs in upturned bottle caps embedded in ivy in starter plants, uh, underneath a dry saucer for a potted plant. It requires our entire workforce to get out there and look for them. Well, it may be very uncomfortable to spend time outside in Southern California if you can't get these mosquitoes under control. Well, I will say that Jane has told us it's already very uncomfortable to be outside. I will link below to Jane's channel. You can listen to her experience. She lives in Southern California and biological warfare, weaponized mosquitoes. She called the Vector Control Department in California and spoke to them. And, you know, it takes an awful lot of courage to pick up the phone and to say to someone who works in the government, this is going on. 
you need to do research you need to do it for your own safety but we are at war and well many of the weapons that they are using are unconventional now Jane didn't say that and she didn't say exactly what I said but I will have to I will say kudos to you Jane much courage in talking about the mosquitoes, talking about the chemtrails to this guy at the vector control department. Um, we know the response, you know, that we get when we try to uh, discuss these conversations with people. They shame us. They think we're crazy. So it does take a lot of courage. So yes, um, I just want to uh, highlight you know, those who are courageous enough to do it. And if we had more people with Jane's courage, we might be able to get somewhere. Okay, so what's going on with these mosquitoes? What is going on? What's going on with my computer? Because you know what? I highlighted the sections I wanted to read. I'm having, I, it crashed several times trying to do a video on V2K, voice to skull technology. And I've not been able to do that video because every time I pull up specific articles, my computer goes bonkers. So, well, all of the highlighting came off of this. So I wanted to bring your attention to the stupid things that mainstream media writes, but you could read it and see if you can pull out for yourself those stupid things because you know what? They slap you right in the face and you're thinking to yourself, how can people believe this? All right. Uh, the EPA, this was just last year, the EPA approved the release of weaponized mosquitoes in 20 U.S. states. Okay. Mosquito mate. A Kentucky-based biotechnology company release bacteria-infected male mosquitoes in several parts of the United States, approved by our Environmental Protection Agency. And if anybody has that knowledge that the EPA has allowed greater and greater and greater amounts of pesticides, glyphosate, um, herbicides, <clears throat> really dangerous, toxic chemicals to be sprayed everywhere, dump our foods, uh, saturate our foods in these dangerous pesticides, then understanding that, then you would begin to question everything that the EPA is doing. It's approved the release of bacteria-infected male mosquitoes. Hmm. Well, being able to keep in context the knowledge that you have before, you would think to yourself, maybe these mosquitoes are really not very good. Oh, it's a new biopesticide. Mosquito mates. Mosquitoes? It's a new biopesticide. Isn't that great? Well, Companies lab grown mosquitoes, which it calls ZAP, are infected with the Wolbachia, I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation, this bacteria naturally occurring in many insects, but not in the Aetis aegypti mosquito. Hmm. It's a vector for viruses, which did this mosquito that they have an explosion of in California right now. These are the mosquitoes that carry yellow fever, dengue, and Zika. When bacteria infected males mate with uninfected male, uh, females, the females produce eggs that don't hatch. Um, and then if they're not going to hatch, then the mosquitoes are less likely to spread disease. All right. Well, if that's the case, what's going on in California? 20 approved states, California, Connecticut, Delaware, 
Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Massachusetts, Maine, Maryland, Missouri, New Hampshire, New Jersey, Nevada, New York, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, Tennessee, Vermont, and West Virginia, as well as Washington, D.C. None of those mosquito states down south? Isn't that strange? The permitted states include most, mostly those with similar weather conditions to Kentucky, New York, and California. California, you're dry, baby. You've been dry for a long time. So what's, oh, that's right, those mosquitoes. This particular mosquito, it don't need water. Are you kidding me? You just got hit with a dump of weaponized mosquitoes. In April of this year, because this article was posted, let me see the date, November 2017. So April of this year, Florida, well, you got 20,000 male Aedes aegypti mosquitoes in the Florida Keys and Stock Island. Dumped. If any of you live there, did you get bit like Jane has gotten bit, like her daughter has gotten bit, that these mosquitoes actually leave scars? But the EPA didn't approve Florida. Well, I guess it did because you were dumped with 20,000 of these mosquitoes. And if you think that this outbreak of these mosquitoes, they're flying around Southern California, that's a natural occurrence, you are out of your mind. And still so stuck in believing authority. God, adults, please recognize that if you just go along with authority, it means that you're a child. Could we please grow up in this country? I'm so desperate for people to grow up in this country because you know what? Oh, remaining a child forever when mommy and daddy are really evil, it only means that we all get destroyed by that evil. All right, I'll link below. Um, <laughs> it will be not a surprise to me if suddenly you have an outbreak of Zika or dengue or yellow fever in Southern California and they're going to blame it on these mosquitoes. You know, it, it's really, I saw a headline on Drudge well, let me see if it's still there. Storm takes aim at Mississippi, Miami slammed. Fires, so many national parks and campers rescued. And you know, it seems, and resorts, resort towns in Greece and in Canada. And it seems like they're just really destroying our holiday weekends bringing about so many assaults to us that we can't even go outside and enjoy an afternoon. Have you noticed how many campsites were on fire and kids camping had to be rescued and resort towns in Canada and Greece and, and Labor Day weekend, boom, well, now planes are delayed. Um, people might not be able to get home. It, it does seem like holidays have become a major pain in the ass <laughs> due to weather and other assaults. Anyway, guys, I do hope that you're having a good last day of your Labor Day weekend and see you later. Ciao.